Wuthering Waves version 1.2 is coming around mid-August. And the players and fans of the game are looking forward to the free wishes we are going to be getting once the patch arrives. Especially for low spenders and free-to-play players of the game. So in this video, that's what we're going to be talking about. We'll be doing some math here. Uh, roll that intro, let's go! Alright, kamusta kayong lahat? How is everyone? Welcome to the channel and my latest video. So everybody's wondering, how many free wishes are we gonna be getting in uh, patch 1.2? Luckily for you guys, like that, that information is actually available on the web based on the current beta of the game. The bad news is that there is no new maps this time around in version 1.2. So most of uh, the free wishes, such as, uh, you know, the asteroids, are gonna be coming from events this time around. And uh, based off information on the internet, there will be six major events that will provide uh, free asteroids to players. It seems that we're gonna have another login event and we will get five regular wishes and five event wishes. So Kuru Games is really being generous and you know rightfully so because they actually I think I believe made like 30 million or 300 million uh, I believe in the current patch uh, and the numbers just keep on growing so yeah they're they're making a lot uh, they're really competing with the, the top gotcha games around right now of course we know it's Kenshin Impact and then Honkai Star Rail and then there's that competition as well with the new one uh, Soulless Sense Zero but Wuthering Waves is really uh, getting a lot of downloads and a lot of purchases the hope is that this would continue on for every patch if uh, that would be great if we could get like around five uh, premium wishes and five regular wishes for free oh man that would be awesome just by logging uh, uh, logging in to the game. Anywho, the depths of elusive dreams will provide us another 1,000 asteroids. Moonlit wishes will also add an additional 1,200 asteroids to our accounts, and two other events will have a total of 1,000 asteroids to be given away. And have I mentioned? We are also going to get the trials, of course, the character trials. And that will provide us with 40 uh, asteroids in total. As for permanent events, of course, like new achievements will, be av will become available in 1.2, providing 355 asteroids to all players once all of these achievements have been unlocked or achieved. And then we have the tutorials uh, for a total of 25 asteroids. Tower of Adversity will have 1,400 for players that were able to perfectly clear all of the stages and levels. Battle Pass for free to play will provide 5 Radiant Tides. And that's for the regular banners. The Coral Shop will provide seven radiant tides seven lustrous tides and seven uh wishes for the weapon the the event exclusive weapon banner then of course we have the dailies for a total of 2520 and then we are going to be getting 600 from the update or uh maintenance compensation once uh they deploy 1.2 as for the new quests, there will be 280 asteroids going out. So this is by no means final. 
because this is just information that has been gathered from, uh, I believe, the beta tests that are going on. It's still possible that there will be additional quests uh, that are coming out in uh, 1.2, especially with the new, new, two new characters that are coming out, Sheshi and uh, Xiang Liao. So in total, there'll be 8420, 8420 asteroids uh, available uh, in version 1.2 once all the required uh, requirements have been achieved. And of course, if you unlock the premium battle pass, you can actually get more, even more. Anywho, uh, we're also gonna get uh, 17 Radiant Tides, 12 Lustrous Tides, and then 7 Forging Tides. That's a total of 88 wishes for free-to-play players. And if you unlock the premium battle pass, I believe it's up to 102 wishes in total. Now, this is not guaranteed yet, and we still have to watch the live stream to, uh, to get uh, confirmation, I guess, uh, of the events that are coming. Uh, and also, like I believe, uh, the, the live stream will also provide some codes there for additional uh, asteroids that we can claim. So, what does this mean? Like, for the entire uh, patch 1.2, we're gonna get around 88 uh, wishes in total. And that will become really useful, especially if you're waiting for uh, either Camellia or Scar. Uh, I believe there is a possibility that they might come out in uh, 1.3. And, you know, again, that's not confirmed. We don't know when they are coming in, uh, that they'll become play playable. But, you know, like after, since we know who's coming in 1.2, it's safe to assume that after 1.2, these characters are going to be coming uh, very, very soon. Of course, I'm not stopping you to use them during one, the, to use these asteroids and wishes as you go through version 1.2. Okay, so if you want to use them, if you're not really saving, just using them uh, during the patch, go ahead, have fun. Uh, pull the characters that you want to get. God knows I am surviving in this game doing just that. <laughs> as soon as I get 160 asteroids, I'm gonna wish. That's how I made it so far. That's how I got Jinshi, okay? The good news is there's a possibility that we might get Xiang Liao for free. So that's good. We don't have, you know, like you can, if, if you're not looking to wail or get multiple uh, copies of him, then you're fine. You're going to get him for free. There's a possibility that that could happen. If you want Sheshi, of course, like you may need to spend some wishes. But if you're not interested in Sheshi, and, and once we know the next characters that are coming, then at least you can save up for those guys. It's your life, it's your choice. I think uh, we're gonna be getting a decent, fairly decent amount of wishes, especially like, you know, it's free wishes, you know, so very thankful uh, that uh, Kuro Games are giving us these free wishes, and at the same time, the possibility of getting free characters, not just any character, like a real 5-star character with great multipliers, that could become a, you know, like a... Uh, the next OP character in this game. So, you know what? Like, I can't complain. Guru Games' generosity is gonna go a long, long way. Anywho, that's the video. Uh, hopefully, that was very helpful. And yeah, uh, thank you so much for the support uh, on my previous videos. They've been uh, blowing up, so th that's really uh, encouraging me to make uh, more videos that you know i hope is helpful and if you find this helpful of course like uh please leave a like leave comments uh tell me what you think uh, about these wishes and uh yeah subscribe to the channel of course and that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye